All right. Yeah, for some reason, my continue never works. I don't know why. Okay. <clears throat> hey, JDM. All right, so... Oh, thank you, girl. Ooh, honey tea. All right. My voice might be a bit spaced today. Need probably like another two minutes or so. Guys, remember when like two minutes goes by. Still my first cup of coffee, too. So what we did here is we found out this guy's dying. He was trying to watch over the child. And the other guys that were trying to tell us that these dudes were the traitors were actually the traitors because they were trying to steal the child who is Cassia and do all sorts of horrible things. So that's the thing. Also, before we continue, I would just like to give a big shout out and thank you to Owlcat for giving us over 50 copies of this game to give away. So whenever I take a break, probably once at least every couple hours, if not more, we're gonna be giving away copies of this game to you guys. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Is and that applause? I know, pretty freaking cool of them. Uh, that was very, very unexpected and just awesome. So thank you to them. All right, we're doing level five. We're looking at willpower and the navigator talent, Eye of Oblivion. We're going to be pumping up our willpower. And uh, that's good. And then we're going to be looking at the navigator. What are navigator talents? I don't even know what those are. Eye of the Oblivion. Yo, look at all this stuff. Mastery of time? Mind over matter? Navigator makes all resistant tests with their willpower if it's higher. Okay, that's awesome. We're going to be pumping up willpower. Okay. Open to the warp. Pass unscathed. If the navigator's perception is higher than their agility, their dodge is calculated using perception instead. Interesting. Oh, man. All sorts of fun stuff. Under my protection. Unnatural allure. Plus five fellowship and one fellowship for every navigator talent or power taken. Okay. Here's Eye of Oblivion. Every enemy the navigator has in their line of sight has its dodge and hit chance reduced by minus two times navigator perception bonus. Their perception is 55, so that means five. 10 so everything that the navigator sees has their hit chance and dodge reduced by 10 percent nanny okay every even second fourth turn the navigator gains an additional action point every odd turn first third the navigator gains 20 perception Okay. No, that's cool. That's cool. All right. So, um, can we get another number? Let's get Ebb and Flow. Let's get that. Yep. Perfect. And then for this, probably more willpower, right? Yeah, we'll look at willpower. <coughs> Ooh, here we go. So, for this one, we've got lots of options because we also have, uh, Psyker options here. Zone of fear. Touch of anger. Notch of purpose. Held in my gaze. Okay, these are the two it recommends. Air of authority. The officer increases an ally's resolve. Or get back in the fight. Oh, I like that one because of the temporary wounds. And also it's their willpower bonus. So that would be five in this case. And we're pumping up willpower two. That'd be wow. 10 temporary wounds and it immediately cures them of any stun, burning, bleed, or toxin effect. We should probably get that on one person. Kind of like it recommends, yeah. And then here, 
Probably more navigator talents, yep. yep. Looking at perilous ways. Enemies moved by the navigator's abilities suffer way power or way power willpower bonus damage at the end of movement. And it's in and the damage is increased for two for every cell the enemy moves. So that'd be five plus two for every cell. Now, if we take this though, what does she use to move people? Lidless stare is a stun. Which plants them in place. Yeah, Madrika. Madrika said to to take that, but I'm not really seeing where she would move people. I don't know if Madrika is here this here is here this morning. He doesn't have any note with this one. Normally he has notes with this if there's like a a thing. Oh, if I move off, does it? Oh, it erases everything. My bad. My bad, Chad. I have made a huge mistake. Ignore me. Ignore me! Hello. Uh, willpower. Time to get back in the fight. So yeah, this one, I feel like we might be able to go a little bit different here. Madrika, in the beta, she got Notch of Purpose for free. We want that and Point of Curiosity. Nanny. Wait. So she... So she's not getting that for free, correct? So... Should I change this then? So we should get Notch here. And then you said point of curiosity. Notch seems cool, especially if you can put it between two spots. Oh, oh, oh. Is, point of, is point of curiosity a different one? Oh, point of curiosity. All enemies in a six cell radius around the target point must pass a pill power, a willpower resistance test or immediately move three cells towards that point. Oh. Oh, so I can see how that with the other one would be huge. It would also pull them out of cover. Well, that's super cool. Okay. So we'll drop, get back in the fight for now for Notch. And then we'll go ahead and pick up this for the future. Cool. Okay. Okay. Nice. I like it. <clears throat> yeah, also, that'll be great for, like, grenades and stuff. Absolutely. All right. <clears throat> okay. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, yeah, we got a huge amount of uh, problems that last fight, didn't we? Um, Do we have any equipment for her? I don't really think so yet. Yeah, not yet. Do we have, like, do we have any armor? We've got some basic armor. You've got a Staff of House or Celio. Castigating five. Enemies targeted by the navigator's power gain a minus five penalty to all characteristics until the end of the navigator's next turn. Cool. We'll take it. Uh, Mosugosu. Mosugosu. I love your face and chat is cute for the 26 months. Well, thank you, buddy. Um... Okay. So let's do a quick run around here. Always make, keep your make eye sure on we don't the miss prize. any perception checks. Then we are back to the ship. Hey, Ko, you sassy sausage. Hey, Servani, how are you, buddy? I always keep my options open. Man, that last fight we did last night was ridiculous. Ooh, would have been so much easier with Cassia. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Have I made a thoughts video yet? 
Uh, no, we'll make an early thoughts video at the end of the stream today. Yeah, today is going to be morning stream, lunch, afternoon road crater until three, meeting, family time, tribes ascend, or tribes three rivals, into game awards. Got a lot going on today. Lord Captain, Lady Navigator, welcome aboard. The Sanctum Novice has been prepared for the communion ritual, but if the Lady Navigator wishes to rest in her quarters first, your heart starts beating furiously, your breasts come short and choppy, and your fingertips tingle unpleasantly. You notice that Vigdus is shivering slightly, and the crew are glancing around in puzzlement, searching for the source of this sudden wave of unease. <coughs> first, I wish to speak with the rogue trader. Leave us. Of course. When you're ready for the ritual, please let me know. girl knows what she wants, chat. Superito, thanks for all the CRPGs co. I know they aren't great for viewership numbers later on, but I appreciate it. Well, Superito, honestly, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real about this. I've been streaming for 10 years. I love it. I love big days. I love playing hype games on big days. But I think the most fun I have is streaming to a smaller audience of more invested people when we play CRP. So, don't, you don't need to thank me. <laughs> these, these are guilty pleasures, man. <laughs> I, 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 I love this stuff. And most importantly, I love that you guys support me to a level where I don't need to worry about, you know, all the, the, the downsides that come with these long games on Twitch, which is something I'd normally have to consider. So, like, I, or I would have normally had to consider. So, yeah, I appreciate it. What does the C and C RPG stand for? Co. These are co RPGs. Yes. What do you wish to speak, uh, speak about? After a few seconds hesitation, Cassie lets out a small exhale and raises her pointed chin. Oh, I was hoping this would be voice acted. I have not yet thanked you for saving me on the station. My thoughts were clouded with so much mournful ash when Theobald's heart stopped, but you acted honorably and did not exploit me in my wretched position, and for that, I am immeasurably grateful. But now, I am ready to go to the sanctum and perform the sacred rite. I require brushes, canvas, and the best paints you have on board, but no red. Tell me more about the ritual. I doubt the uninitiated can understand the mysteries of navigation, but I shall try to explain the essence of it. I shall merge my mind and will with the machine spirit of the ship so that I become one with the vessel. He lifts a lock of hair from the back of her neck, revealing gilded implant ports. After that, I use the house or cellia ritual, which I am loath to reveal to you, to free my mind of all errant thoughts, and then... Then it is time to open my third eye and peer into the depths of the warp itself. Among the nightmarish visions, mirages, and creatures of the abyss, only the light of the Emperor is the truth that will lead me from star to star, from system to system. Oh, the light. The guiding thread so fine it can slip from one's grasp at any moment. But you have nothing to worry about. The navigators of House Rosselio never lose their course. Why do you refuse to paint red? It is my habit to use the blood of my ascendant so as to preserve my own. However, given the current circumstances, my own will serve even better. The blood of the novice nobilite is sacred and so is more suitable for the communion ritual. I shall ensure that all necessary supplies are delivered to the Sanctum Novice. Great. Lord Captain, I will oversee the open channel between the Lady Navigator and the bridge, and may the Emperor's Light help us all. Okay. Initiating Communion Ritual. You hear the exultant ring of metal freed from its scabbard, then the stifled gasp as the Lady Navigator, the rhythmic drip of liquid on canvas, and the faint whisper of a brush. I see violet vortexes lashing an ocean with a million flails, and umber shadows spinning over the surface in a fiery dance. A storm is rising above foaming waters, Armidus drowning in fog. The path from one into the other cannot be seen. And here beyond the wall of glass, a daughter forsaken by her father yearns for her brother, and the sun's pale disc goes into tireless pursuit of her, no, of me. Its frozen rays lie that spring is here. The light is deadened, the great ruler is gone. I love this writing so much. Voxmaster recoils at Cassie's words and accidentally snaps one of the cogitator's levers. The panels beneath her finger emit sparks, and the Voxcaster falls silent. She quickly flips a series of switches and bows guiltily. My abject apologies for cutting off the broadcast, Lord Captain. I've never heard the warp speaking through a navigator before. The connection is restored now. It will not happen again. 
Leave the Lady Navigator undisturbed. Soul-shredding screams drown out the Vox transmission. The servants in the Sanctum Novice are howling and shrieking like wild beasts, moaning in pain, their throats raw from the strain, and then sudden silence. The dull thud of dropping bodies proclaims their fate. It appears the servants were part of the Lady Navigator's rite, as was for her predecessor. I will arrange for the bodies to be removed from the Sanctum after the ritual, or what's left of them. <clears throat> Rogue Trader, I fear, I fear I have unfortunate news. Endless blackness is spread across the canvas, dividing what should be a hole in two. And my sight cannot glimpse the light of the Emperor as clearly as before. I cannot turn around. My brush only draws me onward. The way is blocked. <laughs> By the Emperor's grace, the ritual was successful. Your vessel's temperament presented a challenge. Its cold steel grip did not allow me to breathe freely even for a second. It was as if the depths of the ship housed not only machine spirits, but something other. Now I will retreat to my chambers to recover my strength. Send for me if you have need of me. Oh, dude. I think, I think the bad chaos bro is still on the ship. Lord Captain, congrats on acquiring a navigator. Spare me a few moments of your time, please. There are several matters that require your attention. First of all, I want to report on the condition of the station, your Act 5. It's blown up. Regrettably, we arrived too late to evacuate the residents of the station. The warp disruptions affecting your Act 5 twisted the bodies and minds of its attendants. The corruption failed to affect Lady Cassia, thank the Emperor. The navigators are trained to resist the Immaterium's pull. So get this. I don't think this would have happened if we had done this first. Because when we went there first, they weren't all corrupted by the warp. But then we went back and did the prison first. And then when we went here the second time, the warp had engaged it. Huh. With your permission, I would also like to remind you that we are still looking for an engine seer prime, but the vessel and its machine spirits are in desperate need of oversight by an experienced tech priest. We're missing, missing some crew, and more importantly, we have not yet located Hendrix Van Calix, the right hand of the Lord Inquisitor. Why is it always business with you, Vigdis? Couldn't you sometimes just visit and tell me how wonderful everything is? Certainly, Lord Captain. If you're interested, this week passed with a record low rate of minor disturbances on the lower deck. A senior technomat from Shift 8 came up with a new formula for a lubricant used in kitchen servitor implant maintenance. Quartermaster of Store Compartment 11 reported recently that we are spending ceremonial decorations at least 20% slower than expected, which means we have enough tablecloths, carpet, and lamps to last us 15 years of grand receptions instead of 10, even considering that some of the stock was burned during the cultist's attack on the vessels. Why, thank you, Vigdis! My girl! There we go! <coughs> um, Co, could you check Cassia and hover over a navigator spell held in my gaze? I want to see if, it, if its requirements change. Sure, absolutely. Give me one sec. Okay. Did you hear that Ben Starr and Neil Newbon are going to be voicing characters in the next Warframe update? I did! And it's awesome. And I leveled again? Oh my god, dude. I'm on, a, I'm on a leveling spree. All right. Uh, save game. Eat. I love how fast you gain levels in this game, dude. I'm loving it. All right. Oh, first let's do this for Madrika. Um, You wanted to see... Which one? Did I see the new South Park game? No. Have you heard about the Tribes 3 playtest tonight? Yes, we're going to be playing it. Oh. Oh. Let's see if I can... I don't know if I can slide this in on time. Uh, uh, probably not. We'll go ahead and put it in. It's like... I forgot to put a overlay request in for tribes. Ah, bad. Maybe we can make it by next play test. We'll see. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Uh, held in my gaze. Oh, wait. It needs to be a, a special talent. Hold on. Uh, where are her abilities? The heck? Oh, there they are. That was weird. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can, like, just look at it. Here we go. Held in my gaze. Um...
Where, where is that? Oh, it's a spell. I'm sorry. Um, here. Wow. I There we go. So it has no... Yeah, no, it, it has no requirements. Yeah. There you go. Hope that helps. Okay, back to what we were doing. We'll go back to her in a second. Let's go ahead and close out because it's so buggy. All right. So, Mr. Ko, on level eight, we're looking at. St oh, we can get steady now. We were we were wanting to get that earlier. Yeah. So steady is going to help us with um, take aim. Increases the damage of the next range attack by 2% for each cell between the attacker and the target. Cool. So, I mean, that could be... <clears throat> that could be pretty serious. Especially if you get, like, a, a longer range bolter. That's great. And then here... Uh, I think we're going to keep jacking up Persuasion? I think we're going to keep jacking up Persuasion. Yeah, I, I, want, I want to be a Persuasion master in this game. Very persuasive, chat. Very persuasive. Okay. Go into our girl Cassia... Uh, we're looking at be vigilant if you want a melee buff or lasting impression. Uh. <coughs> Wait, am I looking at this right? <coughs> Excuse me. Lasting impression. Half of the bonus granted by voice of command remains until the end of combat. Okay. No, not really. I don't want that. Be vigilant. Allies with the effect of the officer's abilities gain a bonus to their weapon skill. Her fellowship bonus is only four, so it'd be seven. And we'll deal and we'll deal four more damage on attacks of opportunity. Uh, I, mm, I don't know. I don't really like either of those. I don't really like either of those. Um. So when it says targeted by the navigator's power, I wonder if that means the voice of command officer skill. The navigator starts all turns, including extra turns, with three additional movement points. The first ally targeted each turn by the navigator with a single target ability gains the same amount of additional movement points at the start of their next turn. I think I'm going to take this. I think I'm going to take this. That's That seems really cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then here... She is going to be our lore warp lady. We don't really need... Yeah, she's going to be our, our warp lore lady. Great, so we'll start jacking that up to have somebody. Great. <clears throat> okay. Moving on, our girl Argenta. Bullet hell and demolition is what we're looking at here. Available talents. What is bullet hell? I, I already really like the sound of it. Bullet hell. Please pet the cat. Okay. Um. Did I miss it?
I don't see it. I do not see... I don't even see the... Like... <clears throat> I don't even see the... I see enough bullets for everyone. Maybe they changed the name? see this skill. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna have to pick something else here. For each adjacent ally, the soldier deals plus five plus ballistic skill bonus percent more damage to enemies. Okay, that sounds like it could be fun if we have people. It's a talent that reduces rapid fire damage reduction. Okay, let's see if we can find that. Yeah, because I definitely, that sounds good. <clears throat> Enemies damaged by the soldier's area of attack suffer one plus five divided by two, so it'd be three. So it'd be four damage for the next attack that hits them. Whenever the soldier successfully dodges or uses cover, they gain a guaranteed critical hit against that enemy. Fire hit of each burst attack deals additional damage equal to the weapon's current rate of fire. Yo! That would be eight when we use our, our rapid fire. Well, that'd be wild. Because that doubles the rate of fire. The soldier's second attack action in a turn deals... Second attack action? We don't get a second attack action. We don't know. Um, yeah, I... Do oh! Oh! Unfaltering fire. Rapid fire no longer reduces damage by 50%. So that's it. <coughs> yeah, that's huge. That's absolutely huge. Okay, that is massive balls more demo okay yeah that's it that's that's in, that's insane i should probably just restart the run you're probably right you should uh predicted downfall and oh psi rating we can finally get psi rating okay uh, let's go back to here mm. oh Psy rating one needs to be level ten. Did you used to need? Did you used to be level eight? Is that what it was? That sucks. Okay. But can we get predicted downfall here? This is a common talent. Yeah, we'll get predicted downfall here. First dodge attempt of every enemy in combat suffers a minus seven plus seven times psych or psi rating penalty. It's still seven, because it's gonna be zero for now, but yeah, I guess I guess we can't do this until ten. For her psi rating, which is a little weird. They must have changed this, I'm guessing. Which kind of sucks. To level 10. Mm -mm. Hey, Begs, what's up, buddy? Probably felt it was too OP and moved back, maybe. Yeah. But then, now we gotta pick something else here. We could do, um... Let's see, what do we wanna do? We gotta pick something else. Visions of Doom. Enemies that become the targets of the Psycho Psychic Powers gain a minus five penalty to their dodge and parry until the end of combat. Doesn't stack, though. That's still pretty good. Uh... <clears throat> That's more damage until the end of combat. Hmm. 